for creating a flange on the actual lid. If your container or vessel does not have a flange on the inside or the outside for the cap. So what you're going to do today, or I'm going to show you, is how to create this lid with the flange on it. And that flange sits down inside. So if you look at it, the only thing that's sitting inside is the flange, and the lid can go past. You hold that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so with this, again, just like your other lids, you're going to throw it off the hump. You guys remember what that means? Right? You're only centering the top part. You know, that sounded pretty, huh? So I'm only going to center up that top piece right there. You don't need more than that. Please don't whisper right now, okay? Okay, so, oh yeah, I need to get the container. I'm going to do this for. Okay. So let's say this is my vessel that I'm using to create for my lid. You need the calipers. And this time you're going to measure the inside of that container so that the outside of the flange fits the inside. So when I do this, I'm measuring just the inside right there, and that's my dimension for the outside of the flange. Okay. So with this one, you're going to open it just like normal. Okay, just a little bit deep, don't go too deep. And you're going to need to keep this rim really, really thick. Okay, thicker even than what you did for your other bowls. This is so off-center that it's like shaking the whole wheel. That's okay. And then you're going to pull this out almost until you hit that side. This is so off-center, it's making my whole project. If the whole piece of clay that you're centering off the hump is so bad that it's making everything shake, you may have to do a little bit of centering in order to make that stop. Okay, now I'll focus on just this. Okay, do this again. Okay. that up, leaving the rim really thick, you guys, really, really thick. Center the rim up. So if I'm making something this wide, I'm going to stop when it gets to about right there because the outside of that flange needs to be that thick. So you want to keep it, the inner ring, or that inner circle, you want it to be about a half an inch smaller than this, okay? So I'm going to put those calipers to the side. I know, you guys are falling asleep on me. It's not just you, it's just the fact that it's a Friday. It's right after lunch, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I've got that to the right thickness, now I'm going to take the back of my needle tool. And this time, I'm going to go in the middle of this and separate the two walls. Okay. Caught. And you're going to dive down quite deep. And it's going to look like you made a mistake, but you're not. I promise. This is a good thing. And then right here, now I'm going to go ahead and soften that, smooth it out, and then you can flat top this or you can round it to go over the vessel. I'm going to flat top it this time. And now the biggest thing is we just want that flange to not be any bigger than that. And it's slightly smaller so I could technically pull it out just a little bit. Make sure it's not too big. Perfect. And then you just clean it up. And then again, now you cut below it. 
And again, it's just a matter of if you want to carve the knob out of it or if you want to add the knob to how far deep you cut below. And sometimes you may have to cut this a couple of times to get it to loosen. But the nice thing is if you put your fingers underneath there, you're not going to hit the lid at all. You're only going to be hitting the part that messes up so that when you eventually go to turn this upside down, hopefully that will fit inside.